Well, and as we segue to centers, there are a lot of guys who are forward and center eligible, obviously, Matt. Some of the guys that I've already mentioned, whether it's Giannis or Siakam or, you know, Mobley, Carter, guys like that. You also have that you could mix in, you know, just some some higher price guys that are available on the slate to Montes Sabonis, uh, Carl Anthony Towns as well. Who stands out to you? I think Sabonis is the one that makes the most sense to pay up for. He'll probably be somewhat popular, but this is such a good matchup against Oklahoma City. And they don't have a lot of their best defensive players playing. I know that Shea Gilgis Alexander came back a couple of games ago, and that's the player that makes headlines. But guys like Mike Muscala and Lou Dort and Kendrick, Kendrick Williams not playing, that just makes the defense so much worse across the board. And then SGA coming back doesn't help the defense either. I think we should expect to see much higher scoring games from OKC going forward. And we have seen those games recently. They played Indiana in overtime, but... That game was really high scoring before it even got there. Same with the prior game against the Suns. So I just think this is a really good spot for Sacramento. Sabonis probably plays as the center too because Rashawn Holmes has been out. Um, So he may spend the entire game that he's on the court as the center. There's just so much potential for him to score fantasy points. And the Kings aren't good enough necessarily to be worried about a blowout either. So this really sets up well for the Kings and Sabonis in particular. Who do you like, Chinmay? I, I agree with Matt. I think uh, Sabonis is a nice play, averaging 19 points, 13 rebounds, and six assists since joining the Kings at the deadline. Holmes is questionable with a back issue, so a spot for extended minutes for Sabonis as well. As an alternate play, not quite as pricey. I like Jaron Jackson. I know he's struggled since the All-Star break, but I do think he's due for an uptick against a Spurs team that uh, struggles to defend on the interior. So Jaron Jackson Jr. could be the alternate play if you don't want to pay up for Sabonis. All right, Jules, why don't you uh, give us your center? Sabonis was my guy here. Matt already pretty much (laughs) covered him. It's too good of a matchup. OKC is going way downhill. Like he said, a lot of their top defenders are out. Um, We saw Sabonis. It was with Indy, but we saw Sabonis already go over 70 DraftKings points in the matchup specifically. Um, And again, it's the Kings. So if People are blowing out the thunder. If there's a team that can't, it's the Kings. I expect it to be an up and down game and still a close enough game for Sabonis to keep going on. 